Several state senators hope to advance legislation this session to change the courts and prison system. 22 News State House reporter Tiffany Chan is live in Boston to explain why they might run into resistance. Some of these proposals are highly controversial. Senators laid out several bills to change the state's criminal justice system, a system that they believe targets low-income residents and people of color. The time is now for us to do something. The problem is urgent. Momentum is building on Beacon Hill to update all aspects of the state's criminal justice system from the moment someone enters the courts to what happens after sentencing. Ten state senators have filed bills, including one to eliminate mandatory minimum sentences for nonviolent drug offenders. Does it make sense because it doesn't look at the, the crime, the circumstances of the crime, and the only one that can do that is the judge? Their goal is to reduce prison population by helping inmates find jobs so they don't end up back in the system. Boston State Senator Sonia Chang Diaz told 22 News she believes the time to act is now. Chang Diaz cited a study that found minority and low income defendants face higher rates of incarceration, costing taxpayers tens of millions of dollars each year. It's broken in, in cost, in the big picture numbers, in terms of the fact that we are locking up. Five times, as, as five times as many people as we did in Massachusetts in the 1970s. There's no guarantee of passage. Many of these criminal justice bills have passed the Senate in previous sessions, but got stalled in the House. House Speaker Robert DeLeo has been reluctant to eliminate across-the-board mandatory minimums. Live at the State House in Boston, Tiffany Chan for 22 News.